Hello there everyone, this is the Angling Command Advanced Tips and Tricks video. Uh, as you can see we have the uh, 3DX450B as we've been working on before. Obviously we make sure the motor is disconnected and it's all armed, all ready to go. Now if you want to level out your swash plate on your um, helicopter, obviously you can do this mechanically or you can actually do this on the computer. Now I've plugged it in on the computer and I slightly my uh, swash plate was not quite level so I went into the options uh, the trim setting and we uh, changed a few trim settings obviously now this will uh, affect your center point on your your um, your on your helicopter on center sick if you got it zero pitch uh, uh, 50 and you can obviously change it very slightly via the mid stick pulse length so you can change it there or you can set the helicopter up mechanically at zero pitch uh, to suit. So I've changed the values on the trim setup. Uh, so we've uh, I've basically got a level swash plate. Another trick uh, you can also do on your uh, helicopter. So if I zoom down and uh, focus out, uh, obviously we have a cable here uh, running, and I've it's plugged into the computer. Now you can actually plug in your PC and obviously mount a port or somewhat on a skid or somewhere where you desire on your helicopter. So that's uh, basically some tips and tricks. Also probably what you're wondering in uh, the last video I made so if I disconnect the helicopter from the computer and we'll zoom in to the uh, interaction so we're zooming into the interaction corrections for the collective. Now you can change a few things on here, you can really fine tune the system by this, but I find that I leave all the percentages on zero. Uh, basically, if your servos are all the same, or all of you bought them all at the same time, then you probably won't have to touch this. But if you can, then uh, in the manual it tells you how to um, change them, aileron to elevator, aileron to collective, and so forth. So you can stop any collective change in your swash plate. What I mean by collective change, if I go to the helicopter itself, is uh, basically if we are uh, looking at the uh, the helicopter there. So uh, I'll just zoom out. So basically, what we're looking for in the um, in the swash plate is collective change. So when I go left, right, forward, back, basically we don't want that swash plate to rise at all. I want to leave it stationary. But if I give it some pitch and then move it again, it has to remain at exactly the same point on the shaft. So we all know. Obviously making sure before you set the system up that all your trims are centered. Obviously make sure your endpoint adjustments are to the maximum, make sure your tool rates are set to the maximum, and so forth. Now what you can hear now is obviously the battery on the transmitter, so I should turn off the uh, helicopter. Obviously, because uh, I run it down making the last videos. So uh, that's basically uh, a few tips and tricks on the Alien Command Advance. Uh, we'll go on to some other things in my next video, obviously flying, uh, calibration of the system, so as you can see there's the helicopter all pre-assembled with the Alien Command. I've also got another candidate uh, with the Alien Command on, so I'll just get that now and I'll take away the 3DX. And I'll bring in the Airwolf, uh, which is basically another 3DX 450. Um, Helicopter, and this is all pre fitted with the Alien Command as well. It's a bit harder to do it when you've got a fuselage, obviously, you have to take the whole system out and then pre do it. So, as you can see, if I take off the canopy, uh, I've mounted my calibration button in, in there. My Alien Command advanced in exactly the same point as I set on the, on the other 3DX, and obviously, I've mounted the uh, CCPM unit manager the CO1 unit inside the fuselage there so uh, that's basic some tips and tips and tricks um, obviously I can't mount me infrared on a fuselage inside obviously because it needs to see so I've mounted it on the bottom made a small hole there and make sure I put on a level surface on the bottom as well 
so that's another place you can put your infrared. It's a little bit harder to set up on a fuselage, uh, but we got there in the end. Uh, I did make some previous videos, but I've replaced them uh, with this new lot. So um, I hope you enjoy all this. And um, here's the Airwolf uh, 450, made by Lion. And uh, if you visit www.sportsmoto.co.uk, every product that uh, is shown on this. Uh, on these helicopters uh, you can get hold of so uh, thanks for watching my videos and uh, hope uh, you can wait for the next flying video uh, hopefully the weather gets better so uh, speak to you all soon and happy flying bye bye